you will have no idea what hobby is you do. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> you, you have. You can go, all right? It's that way. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I know that. Thanks. Oh, you talking? Oh, you talk about work and stuff. Talk about work and stuff, right? I'd say the included shortage. Yeah, take my number or something, oh. and then. Oh, that's good. Okay, okay. that's always good. Ask that. Do you have WhatsApp? But yeah, once we uh, once we get number, I text you information about you know the meetup and uh, wherever we could uh, maybe go out. <laughs> yes, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Oh well, man. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, um, welcome to Bartek Self Improvement. Um, <laughs> um, my name is Mo. Um, I'm 24. I live in London, and I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8 and a half, as you all know. I'm not the tallest man compared to him. Um, <laughs> you know. Um, so today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how I approach how um, how I approach girls. Um, even though I am not the perfect model height, and I've done it off camera. So to show you that I've got some balls and confidence um, to know that, you know, literally anything is possible with the confidence. You can do almost anything, walk into the job, job interview, anything, you can ask them anything, you know. Most people would be watching home and thinking they're scared to approach her, right? You're even scared to even ask them and directors anything at all. I did that as well, so like, exactly. you, know, you know, you just, you know, you gotta be like, you know, up and going, you know, up in feet, you know. You just you got to see some balls, man. You know. For you know, for for the person watching, just tell them, you know, what you can do, what you struggle with, what you think holds you back. Oh, I struggle with is like retracting and conveying attention and flirting a bit because I know it's from one of those, you know, one of those approaches I did was just the flirting thing. That was the struggling and keeping me hold back and those potential stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know, and the strength is protein else, having confidence and just yeah, because. The, Mo is very, very confident, right? Already, like, even before filming this, Mo was how many girls he approached today? Already, like, um, like seven, six? Probably like, three today. Yeah, like he, he's, he's approached like a lot of girls in this first hour that we've been out here already. Um, but yeah, like you would say that the biggest thing you, you, you struggle with is, you know, that conversation, like the actual yeah. conversation, like yeah. how, how, what to say, how to carry yourself, those sorts of things. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah, and also my body, love it, baby, and I'll be smiling. Hey, excuse me, are you both together or? No. Oh, you're both just friends? No, we don't do it. <laughs> I just gave my eye. Oh, okay, alright. That's well, hi. How's it going? Yeah, I just thought uh, you caught my eye from over there and I just come say hi. Thank you. How's it going, you know? How are you? I'm okay, I'm just waiting You're talking to your friend? Yeah. Oh, you're talking, oh, you talk about work and stuff. Talk about work and stuff, right? Yeah, oh well, oh well, dude. Oh well, dude, this is disarm, by the way. Uh, well, she's any lady, but uh, you probably got busy or something, you know. But it's being talking to anyone, you know, in that way, you know. They can take care of right, dude. It's just like. Yes, Mo, first approach done. Uh, How do you think that went? Okay, so, that's a good. Um, it was quiet. Um, not much anything um, to happen, you know. Um, I was just warming up. Um, but she was on headphones, she was talking with a friend and she, she didn't have the great voice. She had not got quite catching her voice, but at least I've done it. Exactly. But then 99% of you know they say, you know, and even there, this guy told me that it's not disrespectful and I said, okay, yeah, I'm leaving. You know, if, if the, if the girl said that, didn't know each other. So I don't know what the commotion is about, Richard. I don't know what, I mean, what yeah. about, you know, like, but, as we discussed off camera, the guy there was just projecting his own insecurity, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but, but, but he knew that had he seen that girl, I mean, like they were literally like sat next to each other, and they, you know, maybe he wasn't even interested in, in speaking to her. But I think when someone reacts like that, when you're just approaching a girl because you find her attractive, and like, this random guy that doesn't know her is calling you disrespectful for it, it's very likely that he's just project, uh, projecting his own insecurity. So, but no, he handled it very well. Yeah. Well done on your first approach. I think. Yeah, biggest takeaways from that interaction. Number one, your tone of voice. So, when you approach them, you're like, oh, hello guys, like, how are you today? Or something along those lines, right? But the most important thing is that your voice was finishing on a higher pitch than you started the word, right? Yeah. Your voice was going in an up trajectory with your tone as opposed to a down trajectory, right? Now, this may not seem like a massive thing, but it is, right? Because 
when you're approaching a girl, like you want it to, you want it to be man to woman as quickly as possible. And think about how girls speak with their friends, for example. It's always like, oh, hi, you're all right. Like it's always like very high pitch, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas when a man speaks, when I speak in my videos, it's always with a down tone. And I'm not saying to just put on a deep voice on purpose, but it's, you know, whatever your normal pitch is, still maintain that, but just end the words on a, on a, on a down tone trajectory. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That was the first thing. The second thing, the, the conversation got awkward very quickly. And what you have to realize is when you cold approach a girl, she's not always going to be super, super keen, super eager to speak to you. You just, you know, you said, hello, how, how are you? And then you just sort of stopped, right? The, like I say, not every girl is gonna be super keen to speak to you straight away. And sometimes it's just a case of speaking at them. Speaking at them just for like, you know, a minute or two. And they might not give you that much back in those first two minutes, but just staying in that interaction, just keeping them engaged, just speaking at them, right? Just to help them warm up and become used to your presence. But yeah, well done, mate. That was good. Oh, excuse me, do you speak English, first of all? Oh, on your, on your phone at the moment? Oh, I listen to something. Oh, I listen to something, okay. So, first of all, uh, oh, you're busy? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's close, close, close. Sorry. You don't speak English? But do you need help with something? Oh, well, no, literally a direction just for the Euston station. Oh, go to this street and then take a left. Take a left. And then walk a bit and it'll be, you'll see it, signs for it. Oh, I'll just ask you to uh, for your accent sounds noticeable. Are you American, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm in the, I'm in the middle and of the Whereabouts, world. like New York, USA, just quickly? Yeah. Just so somewhere, somewhere on the East Coast? No. Oh, somewhere, somewhere that's uh, not California or Miami, you know? No. <laughs> okay, you can go, all right? It's that way. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I know that. Thanks. Thanks for directions. Right, Mo. Good job again, mate. I'd say the one thing that, again, is good because I gave you the feedback of just keeping yourself in the, in the interaction more. You did that fantastically, right? To build on that, try and stay away from questions and more on assumptions, right? Because if it's a, if it's a situation there where, excuse me, excuse me, do you want to be in a video? Do you want to be, just want to self improvement for the channel? You'll get me a lot of views because you're a very attractive girl. Oh, so. thank you. I was going to fall off on my bike. I think do you, you need. Um, we need to race the prop off for the channel. Need no, to get up. You need one of those like Lime Marys, don't you? I think so. <laughs> anyway, back to the feedback. Yeah, slight uh, distraction there. But um, yeah, I'd say that was really good what you did. Yeah. But stick to assumptions instead of questions because if a girl isn't that high interest to begin with, asking questions mean like you're forcing her to invest into an interaction she doesn't want to invest in. That's why you're getting such shit answers. Whereas if you're making assumptions, there's no requirement on her part to invest, but it still keeps the conversation going, right? Yeah. And like I say, if you can stay in that sort of scenario for long enough, she'll warm up to you. And if you can make assumptions that make her laugh, that display you know, some element of high value as well, that's gonna help you as well. So really good. But like I say, if a girl is low interest, try to stick to assumptions as opposed to questions, all right? Assumptions. Nice one, yeah, got it? Yeah. Uh, excuse me, do you speak English, first of all? Oh, okay, yeah, I just saw you over there, you know, and first of all, it's lovely to be outside. Second of all, I just saw you, you caught my eye. Oh, uh, just sort of say, hey, you know, how's it going? Thank you. Give me just one sec, okay? So, mom, oh, you're talking to your mum? Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> oh, God, just say, my, just say, hey, mum. Oh, hey, God. hello. Hello, I'm crossing the border, mum, you know? <laughs> How are you today? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So, where are you from? Um, I'm from the US, I'm from Seattle. Oh, Seattle, uh, that's literally nearby to the, nearby to Cali. Yeah. Uh, literally, you have you been to Cali? Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, that's really nice, you where know? Where are you from? Well, I'm Guess where I'm from? I don't know. <laughs> Guess what I sound like? From here? Yeah, that's literally, and that's literally obvious. Because everyone's like, if you ever, because if everyone's like literally, when I'm from here, you know, from India, you know, then I sound like I'm from like London, you know, and everyone's going, 
okay, whatever, you know? I mean, you got to Liverpool, everyone's like, well, what are you doing here, you know? Because I'm literally sound like a Bondage guy, I'm just so that different. Yeah. Literally, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so... Are you just hanging out by yourself? Well, yeah, I'll just wave a friend, you know, wave a call. Um, see where I am, see where we're going, you know, because uh, it was a lovely day, you know. It's the last week of the um, last uni, you know. Well, oh. not really last week of uni, but literally just like last week of just free holiday. And you just have to go like M A45, M6, you know, but you have to go M6, usually go down the side, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, what, what do you do? Like, or what, what kind of work do you do? I work at a restaurant. Oh, which one? It's in, it's in like the United States, it's called Oh, Bella. US. Uh, I thought you work here. No. You're just here for vacation? Yeah, with my mom. Oh, my how, uh, how long for? Um, two days. Two days? Oh, that's kind of less. I thought you were lived here, you know? <laughs> I bet, you know? No. Uh, well, I know because the college in America is so expensive. You, exactly. You can, actually take, you, you can actually take normal notes, but then you have to pay with your pockets. In the UK, you literally don't have to pay it back unless you're earning that certain certain threshold. That's what I like about UK sometimes, you know, even though you know, there's some friendly people, we know it's friendly people, but at least we, I, can, I can actually not get shot. And uh, cool. get, yeah, but have you seen the schools like shooting? Oh uh, no, not here. Go talk to uh, lots of people, you might not never know what you found, you know? Very true. Uh, literally, you know, what's that necklace? Oh, it's just dots. Darts? Yeah, it's just oh, where did you get it from? Back home? Yeah, I don't know. It's been on my neck for a long time. Ah, oh, it looks good on you. Thank you. It looks, and your bag as well. You're going Thank like you. festival. <laughs> How much Thank was it? You. This bag? Yeah. Maybe like $30. $30? That's, I, I thought know. it was like nine, nine, another nine thousand or one thousand. No. No, for this? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. Because no, <laughs> I, mean, I, I was thinking of like one thousand, two thousand. No, $30. $30, hey. Or 30, I don't know what that is in pounds. <laughs> what you got there? You got like a few clothes? Yeah, just for, for walking around like some water and stuff. Oh, I got water, literally. I got controller. I want to sell off, make a profit. Because you know, I'm going to sell a controller afterwards. Um, Your controller? Yeah, PS4 controller. Have you played like PS5, PS4? You, you, um, you, have you got a PS4? No, I don't video. I don't play. I know what that is, but I don't play video games. You don't play video games. No. Oh, that's so interesting. Who, someone's coming to meet you. So, how many minutes you got left to wait? I don't know. She wasn't answering me, so they're probably She's still a... eating, but maybe not too many. Too many. Um. Okay. Um. Do you know about this place? What place? This place. This uh -uh. park. Uh -uh. Um. Maybe you can ask for directions, so I can take you a tour. You know, if you ever come back, you know, then I can take you some sightseeing, including yeah. Shoreditch. Take my number or something oh. and then... Oh, that's good. Okay. okay, that's always good to ask that. Do you have WhatsApp? Sure. Okay. All right, tell you what, um, I can give you... What's your name? My name is Mo. Mo, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so if I put a name there. But how tall are you? Like 5'8", five, 5'9"? Five, I think around that, maybe... <laughs> a little bit shorter. Shorter, five, seven, five, six. What? Something like that. I'm sure he heard his sage, right? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Do you do any surfing or anything? Do you have any hobbies? Um, yeah, I, I don't surf, but I like to walk around. I like to try food. I like going to the beach. I like being active, so. I like the active. The hotel and like rest. Oh, which hotel are you going to? I don't know. It's that direction. That direction? Yeah. How much was it? I didn't pay for it. My mom paid for it. Yeah, mom paid for it. Because yeah. we can't check until three. Check it until three. Okay. Oh, sorry, my friend is calling me. Um, uh, hello, mate. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, mate. I'm gonna meet up with you in a sec. All right. Well, you uh, have don't... my number on WhatsApp, so maybe tomorrow you can text me if I'm not busy. If you're not busy? Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you then, you know, if we, um, if I hit up, you know, then... Yeah. I'll see, you know. Yeah. Because I'm around, uh, I mean, awake last week until, like, literally um, Tuesday, and I'm going on holiday. Yeah, right. And you're going to Turkey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very so, exciting. we're going to go, right? Nice to meet you. okay. Have a good day. Likewise. And uh, say hello to your mom for me, all right? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yes, Mo. <laughs> yes, boy. Let's go. Come on. Oh well, man. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> First number of the day. 
Come here, come here, come here, we'll have a chat. How are you feeling? Oh, buzzing, you know. I've uh, got a number. Uh, she said, uh, text me tomorrow if, you're, um, if I'm still busy. Mm. I was having, you know, she said if she doesn't text, call back, you know. Then, like, um, then, like, she might be busy, you know, something like that, you know. But, you know, she was here for two days, uh, like, eventually. Um, you know, my mom would be pissed at it, you know. <laughs> um, uh, literally, uh, bad nothing, you know, like, uh, needs to make improvement in your life. See, this is what happens, man. If you don't take initiative and you don't actually take some BS, they don't take a BS, I can do anything. You can do anything. Even if I have a good date here, you know, that's what I'm working on. Um, yeah. Got a number on easily, you know. Yeah. Literally. Well done, mate. Well done. I'd say only thing there is. Actually, I don't, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. I'll say it <laughs> off camera. Actually, no, and I'll say it because um, someone might find this valuable. Right. First of all, great interaction. I'd say the only thing is you did ramble a little <laughs> bit. Like you, you just went off on a bit. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you went off on one, right? But you stayed in the, in the, in the interaction for 20 minutes, right? 20 minutes, right? Yeah. So that's fantastic. Put it there, right? But just focus on. I like. I really like the fact that you told her a lot about yourself. That's good. Yeah. That's going to help a girl build comfort. But just don't ramble you like you ask like a lot of random stuff like how much does your hotel cost <laughs> you know like does it have a pool like all this like all this stuff that like means nothing in that interaction right all that matters in that interaction is you the girl in the present moment yeah right? all that matters is you the girl and what's happening right there right then maybe what she's wearing what you wearing her vibe your vibe that's all that matters the hotel in in Paris, which is going to be in two days time, and the price of that hotel isn't in, isn't important in our interaction. So yeah. that's 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 the only thing, mate. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing really well. You're taking advice on board really well. And yeah, lads, Mo's got his first number of the day. You happy, yeah? Yeah, for now the progress is good. Yeah, we're um, gonna get we some will, more. Yeah, we'll continue it. Right, we're we'll gonna get some more numbers. See, um, I mean, the next number, you know. Yeah, let's get some more numbers, yeah. We'll Excuse me, do you speak English, first of all? Uh, hey, um, I just saw you and uh, you really caught my eye with that dress. Oh. Yeah, and, uh, you look really cute. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so, yeah, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, yeah. You're good, uh, you're just saying about yourself or yourself? Yeah, I'm uh, my boyfriend in a bit. You've a boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, where's he from? Like England? France. Oh, France, French guy. Oh, okay. And you're where are you from? Like uh, London. Oh, London. I'm from London as well. It's like, oh well, do you know? Oh, okay. So if you know, there's literally nearby oh, nice. as well. Nice you know. So about uh, the council of pearls with him, you know, is it like really serious? Sorry. Is it like serious relationship? Yeah. Oh, you just uh, like over there with him, you know. He actually gave me this dress. That dress, <laughs> that's it, dress. Uh, wow, no. Okay, and that's work, right? Yeah. You do uni work? No, no, I work. No, I work. no, no you just try to work, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just not working. I, I don't know do why. Anything. I don't know if you do work in this lovely sunny day with I your know. sunglasses. Okay. You know, you look like a model, you know? Uh, <laughs> you oh, know, oh, like, you. let's just be honest, you know, if you drop that work. You know, then like you can literally lose, you can literally see for less work and just enjoy the chill interactions and something, you know? I know but <laughs> okay. I've got to, I've got to work too. Yeah, you, you know? go, you got to work. Got to work to pay the bills. Well, got to pay bills, stop the income, shift, stop the income and shift, you know? <laughs> literally, but what's your name? So, uh, what other hobbies do you do? Uh, I do yoga, <laughs> I go out with friends. You have no idea what hobbies you do. You have no idea. You, you have, I thought I'd go with that pretty face, but just have some, you know, some good, you know, hobbies. But instead, it's like, you literally can't think of any one hobby that you have or you got any other interests and stuff. And I'm like, really, come on. Like, I got hobbies, I go to gym, I go read, uh, like, Kindles. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, I go jogging for a bit. And um, that's why really, I just play games. Um, and I'm going on holiday in Turkey for two weeks. Oh, that's nice. So, it was, so, have you been there? I have, yeah. Oh, how was it? Really nice, really, really Oh, nice. okay. Have you been to Istanbul? Yeah, I loved it. Oh, wow. Did anyone try to speak to you or yes, acknowledge lots of people, you? Yes, lots of 
Lots very busy. of people. Oh, well, it's not the busiest here, but everyone's trying to socialise, are they? Yeah. <laughs> they're very, they're very um, social into it. Okay, all right. Well, listen, I'm going to be with my friends, okay? Call okay, kid, all right? Uh, what's the name? Oh, yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you so you. much, okay? Thank you. Bye. Right, Mo. Well, how do you think that one went? It's good. Um, it flirted a bit. And uh, didn't force it at all. Uh, actually made a lot, a lot about uh, me going to clubs and stuff. Yeah, Wait, let's, um, short story. Let, let's go this side, actually. We'll uh, get ourselves in the sun, get some rays. So, you, you think that was better? You, you, you think you, you know, you had some actual you know, flirting there? Yeah. Wh which part of the interaction do you think was. Um, the flirty part. I was like, yeah. I was on Coppington outfit and the sunglasses, and uh, it was just like asking about rings, and then you know, and then asked her, you know, if I was work, and she said, yeah, and I just joked with her there and said that apparently uh, you two, like, uh, you should be relaxing yourself whilst in the work or something. I don't remember what, what I said. Um, <laughs> so it was kind of like. Um, it's just kind of like some of the questions, you know, but I feel like that one, I feel like the other getting number was like a bit friendly, you know, but it was just, I think it was just like Do personal. You know Overall, I think that was your best interaction. Overall, it was just like a nice, wholesome interaction, right? Overall, it was nice and wholesome. Yeah, like you say, you started to throw a bit of teasing in there, a bit of flirting, right? So again, every interaction you're doing is getting much, much better, so well done. The only thing I'd say is right at the end, I know you were trying to flirt, but you actually ended up just offending the girl. You know when she was, when you asked her what her hobbies were, and she told you she likes yoga and she likes meeting friends and stuff, and you're like, ah, oh, no, you, you can't even think of any hobbies, can you? Like, you, 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 like you're just a pretty face, like you're trying to think of some hobbies and you haven't got any hobbies, right? When you said that, like I could see just her face being like, like what the fuck are you on about, sort of thing. So like I know what you were trying to do there, yeah. right? But don't offend someone like don't completely disregard what they told you like use what they say to like tease them on that okay for example like she said to you that she does yoga you could have teased her about something to do with yoga that like you you know a few girls that um that do yoga and, uh, and they're just chaotic like see like yoga seems like this thing that's like super relaxing and stuff but outside of yoga they're they're like how live like these proper chaotic lifestyles like i bet you're the same a bit steamy yeah right just, just like just tease her on the things that she tells you but yeah. when she tells you something don't just completely disregard it and and don't offend her but overall mate that was your best interaction <coughs> overall like for 90 percent of it it was a super wholesome interaction yep. super good on your part mate so you're, you know, you're making fantastic progress right so well done hi right, excuse me do you speak english mm -hmm. uh, okay well i just saw him from over there and you really caught my eye with that dress and that booze and i just want to say hi how are you oh there's a little road okay yeah, it's quite Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, you look, why is a model working to me You know, you, unless you work in a fashion meeting or something, you know, which is... I do work in, I work in interiors. Interiors. Okay, so like you're working with like carpet, yeah. walls. So uh, what are the hobbies you got apart from work? Mm -hmm. What are the hobbies you got? Oh, just music. Music. <laughs> what kind of music do you play? I don't play, my husband plays. Oh, your husband. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's a bass player. Oh, bass player, he's playing with that. Yeah. Oh, bass player, huh? Hey, how old are you, like 30, 31? Exactly. Like vice, you know? Yeah. Um, so, I don't want to say, do you still live with the parents or you still live with your husband? No, me and my husband. Oh, okay, do you have any, like, oh, no. kids or? No, just a dog. Oh, just a dog? <laughs> yeah. Wow, damn, you're still, uh, I guess you had a happy marriage, right? Oh, okay. Nothing problems, nothing anything. Uh, okay, that's what I mean. People yeah, are not married with, you know. Ten years. Yeah, I can't Okay, I'm going to stop it right there because yeah. I'm just going, you know, that way and that way, you know. Well, that's, but, but are you going to do anything later on? Or? Uh, just like going for the meeting. Are you going to meeting? Okay, well, for now, if you've got any plans, just be friends and you know, I can take your number. Oh, no, listen, listen, if you can just like, give me a number. All right, thank you. See you later. Hey, excuse me. Oh, um, I'm not coming this way, but you have 30 seconds that I can chat quickly. Um, I just saw you over there and you caught my eye with that dress and outfit. Uh, just, and you caught my eye, I just want to say, you know, hey, 
How are you? I'm good. I also have a boyfriend. Yeah, boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna meet him. No, no, no. He's not from here. He's from Birmingham. Ah, uh, Birmingham. I appreciate that. Ah, uh, you're from Birmingham as well. No, I'm from here, but he's. Ah, uh, yeah, but. No, I really do appreciate uh, okay, I so appreciate much. it, right? Thank day. you, likewise. Nice mo. Two more interactions done. How how uh, how do you find those? Uh, I'm looking at that, I feel a headache, you know. <laughs> it's and, uh, tiring, isn't it? Tiring, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, with the hot weather, mm. I just still trying to make things work. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do we'll do one more after this, but um, but yeah, we we'll, won't we'll, we'll do too many more. Okay, but no, like, again, like you're getting so much better, and actually, um, you will have seen in that interaction you've just gone that Mo used compliance more, or he 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 sought compliance from the girl straight away, which is actually what I told him after the other interaction. So, not the interaction he just saw, but the one before. Obviously, you saw how chaotic that was, me having to like run after Mo for like, for like five minutes, right? And I told him, shut up, right. <laughs> Is that rude? I told him. You are with that dog? Oh, hello. Hello? What, what a cute dog. But I told Mo that it's really important to try and build compliance with the girl straight away, right? Or as quickly as possible. Don't just walk after her for like five, ten minutes, right? Because the way she's going to see that is, okay, well, you were going somewhere and now you just completely changed your direction and like you're in her frame at that point, right? So as you quite rightly did there, Mo, again, more than for taking my advice on board, he stopped the girl straight away, right? Because... <coughs> Unless the girl is going somewhere and she has to go get somewhere on it for a certain uh, time, say she's going, to, uh, to, say she's going to catch a train or something, right, and she can't stop and talk. Ninety-nine percent of the time, the girl can stop for like five minutes and have a chat with you, right. So you should always try and build that compliance. You should always try and get that compliance in order to actually get them in your frame, right? Yeah. And that's going to help you in that interaction as well. All right. But yeah, one more, one more approach for Mo in London. And um, yeah, we'll uh, have a sit down afterwards and you know, you can give us your thoughts for the whole session and then we'll go from there, all right? Oh, excuse me, do you speak English? Yeah. Oh, okay, um, I just saw you over the bench over there and you caught my eye and I just want to say hey. How's oh, it going? Hey. <laughs> okay. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, like, good. But do you drink alcohol? Not much, no, no, not, not much oh, okay. at all. But so. do you go to clubs? I used to, but I'm 40 now. 40! Yeah! Oh, attractive, you know. attractive girl for the hills, you know? <laughs> uh, 40 old! <laughs> so maybe, yeah. Maybe. The, um... Maybe attention from other people, you know? The young girls, you know? <laughs> you, you get a look on those, you know? <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, like. Um, How about you? Do you I, go out much? Literally, you know, hit it off that way. Yeah, yeah. You know, that no, what I do. Got good confidence about you. Like, I, like, I really. Especially in this day and age, you know, people are so like less confident and more, more confident behind the screen and stuff. But it's nice to see people, you know, just go up and approach people, uh, say hi. Literally, people know, say that you get arrested for approaching, and I'm like, no, oh, no way. That's just crazy rumors. No, you got to stay that way. That's Sometimes crazy. people, when I met girl, when I met them, right, they don't have that confidence, you know, so they don't have the abundance, even they're attractive. But maybe foreign people that I uh, spoke to, they don't really, they seem to be shy. Maybe I understand. You know, and uh, maybe if you have a flow a bit, then we'll see. You know. Yeah, people, people are shy, but the, but it's true. They're coming out more out of the habit of like they're having that confidence just to approach people, and more time or not, people are waiting to be approached, especially girls. Oh, it so as often as you, you might don't think, see so. the signals. <laughs> you don't see the signals from the other girls. Um, but you just have to go and. Uh, you just go and do it. Literally, do, do literally. it that you way. Never know what might come Thanks for having to say confidence because not many guys do that. Many guys just it's coward true. and literally it, it sit is. around. It's true. Now you got the confidence. But so at least, but at least you you're at least receptive, you know. Because any other times I say that, yeah, uh, it would just be like. No, no way, not doing it, especially, no way, no way, I, yeah. you know what you're doing, I, and I, and I'm like, oh, well, I get offended, but, you know, I literally, if you uh, kept it quitting, you know, then you won't find out about true self, you just have to, you just, you won't be stuck, you won't see her again anyway, so, like, who cares, really, who cares, yeah, who cares yeah. really, like, you can see some other girls, you know, like, and just, what do you think? Definitely, lose, definitely, you know? you've got to keep trying and, you know, like, keep doing stuff. Got, there's always, there's always that match that's there. It just happens when it uh, happens, you know. You know, some things just because maybe a group of people or some people say something is completely off limits. It's always up to you to make those decisions, you know, for yourself. If you think that, you know, for example, some people can be a little bit, uh, um, 
can't live in a box, basically. Yeah, you, can't ex you can't protect yourself from anything just by, oh, I don't go into, a, into an area of where females are. I don't go into any environment where yeah, my, I don't ever okay. go to beaches. I don't go to here just in case I sin. Where it's not really about that. It's kind of about you're always going to be in an environment where there will be things. And it's up to you to... To see how it does. To manage your own self, you know. Uh, that's what okay. It is. That's, what that's it is. all it's this. It's not like about just don't, don't ever feel guilty just because you go to a club or something like that. I, I don't feel guilty or anything. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't really don't. I like sometimes my mom's like guilt tripping me, thinking it's wrong. It's wrong. It's like you're not really going to drink there or smoke, are you? You just uh, you don't see some baddies. You're some baddies, and uh, you know, literally. <laughs> And uh, well, I think it's your body, you know. You're like, and you've got to learn for yourself, you know. Like you can't rely on other people's testimonies about what is wrong and what is right. Sometimes you have to do the wrong thing, and then you learn for yourself. Well, I have. To, well, we have to do one <laughs> things um, for the right reasons. That's my quote. Is <laughs> yeah. um, you, you doing anything later on in the week or? To be honest, I'm nights all this week. I'm nights all this week. And night not, Yeah, night shifts. So um, yeah. But what about daytime? Daytime. That's when I sleep. <laughs> so that's why I just I, really woke up just now. I, I, I tell you what, right? Um, if you have WhatsApp, maybe we can just uh, maybe talk and be up for a bit. Yeah, you sure, know, and uh, number if you have it in the area, I'm going to go quickly. Just go do you have WhatsApp? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> All right. But yeah, once we uh, once we get number, I text you information about you know the meetup and uh, wherever we could uh, maybe go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know if you're around and I've got time and stuff. Why not? Why not? It's really nice to meet nice. Yeah, people. likewise. All right, so I'm gonna Lovely go. To right, meet likewise. Rose. Okay. <laughs> oh, you remember that? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Bye. Let's put it there. Oh. Let's put it there. Oh. Yeah, I was fucking sick. Let's go. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for, come come inside. This one. And um, mate, talk me through that because that was, in my eyes, a fucking brilliant interaction, mate. Honestly, like you've made so much progress today compared to like the very first interaction where you just said where you just said hello and it was just super awkward. To that, that was like 20 minutes of like actually like a solid interaction, mate. So fucking fair play to you. Should be super proud of yourself. Talk to me. How do you feel? Uh, well. Good vibes, good stuff. Yeah. Totally smoked that, smoked that bitch into hell, you know. <laughs> you know, um, quite a sense of that, feminist people. Um, yeah, well, dollar bitch, you know, but no, no, on seriousness, it, it was yeah, really good, that. you know, it, like, it, it honestly, it was, well. yeah, it was really good, you know. And I said that, you know, at the start, you know, don't care your height, you know, and, you know, and uh, your weight, you know, you can do almost anything, you can almost get any abundance in the world if you know the feel of vibes and if you you know play a little bit you know and then see a bit you know like then you will do that, that you'll do well in life what would you say to someone watching this that perhaps you know is maybe a bit too absorbed in a black pill <laughs> you know that like you know they will have seen what you accomplished today but like your your conversations got progressively longer and more actually proper, right? You actually got more engagement from the girls that you're speaking yeah. to. So just give give someone you know, a bit of advice, you know, someone in your position, <sighs> someone, someone, you know, with, with maybe your skin colour, your looks, your height. Um, as you said, uh, going back from the start, you're, you you said yourself, you've, you've self-proclaimed yourself as a three out of 10, right? Speak, <sighs> speak to someone in, in the opposition. Technically, I won't get days, but I'm still approving that, but Apart from it, I can do basic stuff. But someone said that, you know, that, oh, well, you're black, and oh, well, usually three out of 10. It doesn't matter about your attractiveness, okay? It's about personality on the inside here, all right? And if you're fit, you know, everything, good, you know? But just say to yourself that, you know, take it out of time. Just go approach one girl, approach someone, speak to someone. And even say that, you know, you hate girls, I hate women. It's like you never talk to a woman in your life, you know? Like, that's what I don't get about bad play themselves, you know, but like, Bye, guys. Just go out. Go let you go out. Stop. Uh, stop scrolling your phone. 
go outside, go in the park, on a sunny day, just speak to people. So exactly. you can be able to see how you fare on, get on, you know, and the rejection is part of life. Just keep moving on. Otherwise, you follow the same circle as the other, you know, people that don't really, don't really care, just like prefer to stay home and literally single less, you know. At least you get no, at least you speak to someone, that's progress. Exactly. And I just want to say that you will have heard the final girl and what she said. You will have heard her saying that, you know, she, she rates Mo's confidence, right? She rates his confidence. She rates the fact that there's like no one else is doing this anymore. No one is doing this type of in-person approach anymore. And that can be just one, like one of many things that a girl finds attractive about you, right? Not just your looks, but you can obviously look, looks do matter, right? The, the taller you are, the more attractive you are, the more muscular you are, the easier it's going to be. But that does not mean that you still can't get results as you know someone that isn't those things and like that girl said didn't she Mo? that she really valued the fact that he had that confidence to come approach her and they actually vibed very very well right so i mean i've been inspired today mo yeah. I, I, i've been inspired because you've shown me that it is possible you know that, that anyone can go out there and interact with people and have you know good interactions and hopefully you know you watching this mate like hopefully you've been inspired as well that whatever skin colour you are how, however tall you are how, however short you are however you look you can go out there you can speak to girls and you can get results so Mo thanks again mate and I'll say one thing um, on. one more thing you know obviously you heard that you're scared about getting arrested because I'm approaching what you saw there what, what <laughs> you saw there right seems free count of anything most of the people most girls would just say thank you and to politely reject or she would just politely calm down and chat you know as long as you don't actually be creepy but some people that just you know were arrested yeah exactly. uh, they literally unless you would do any bad stuff you know groping and obviously you say in the public comments so you can't but control yeah, you, yourself you, you, you know you're not going to get arrested are you no no i'm just saying the people that think that you get no, arrested no 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 yeah thing. so no so i'm agreeing with you that as long as you don't do anything bad as long as you're just respectful you go in there with the intention of having genuine curiosity and genuine interest in the person it's not going to go that bad but yeah that's um that's enough i yeah. think again well done mate you've absolutely smashed it today and yeah thanks for watching mate and uh, we'll see you in the next one cheers